Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm trying out an old trend of Tudor style pet portraits. But of course I'm going to paint it and it's going to be a miniature one. This one is of a dear friend's dog called Sophia Loren. I'm not going to show you painting it because all you'll be able to see is me peering closely through a magnifying glass. But I can show you each day's progress. After choosing a nice photo of Sophia, I transposed her head onto a period costume body. I then traced the outline with pencil onto some thick watercolour paper before starting to fill in the spaces with paint. I used acrylic paints in this project. I made a picture frame out of polymer clay to fit the painting perfectly. If you'd like to see how I did it, let me know in the comments below. Once the frame was baked hard, I painted it with two coats of black paint, making sure I got in all the nooks and crannies, both front and back. Remember, make sure it dries well between coats. Next step is to cut a backing board. You could use 2mm plywood, thick cardstock or a thin MDF. Cut it the same size as the frame. Paint the back and sides with two coats of black paint. that is drying, now apply two coats of gold paint on the frame. The black undercoat will give it an antique look. Although if you like the look of just one coat of the gold, it's perfectly fine to stop there. To the portrait, I gave it a quick coat of a matte spray varnish to protect it, and when that was dry, I applied two coats both at the front and the back of the picture using a white craft glue that dries clear. I diluted it with a few drops of water. Make sure each coat is dried thoroughly before applying the next. This not only helps to protect the painting, but it gives it that aged look. And once dried fully, you can glue it with tacky glue to the backing board and trim the edges. I used mini bulldog clips to hold the edges down while they dried. Using tacky glue again, now glue the frame to the painting and leave it with some weight on the frame so it dries flat with full contact. Make sure you have the frame the right way around the first go though.
finally on the back I glued a 16cm or 2 and 3 eighths of an inch piece of board to make a loop for hanging it up. And this is a selection of the pet portraits I've made so far. Why don't you give it a go too?